So, hello everyone. <laughs> uh, this is Claudia. Hi, it's me again. So, first things first, I'm hoping everybody is online and uh, watching me. I know I'm just slightly, a little bit, not exactly 7 o'clock, but like half a minute earlier. But I just couldn't time it better. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you can actually hear me and if you can actually hear me good. Because if, if the sound is too high, I can always put it uh, lower. So if you can uh, let me know if everything is okay, then we can we can do the starting and uh, we can start talking and uh, have some fun, right? Um, so I'm just going to going to wait to see if everybody's hearing me. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, then awesome. I'm going to put my mouse away because <laughs> my mouse is uh, um, in the way. Okay. Oh, hello, Marlena. And by the way, hello, Johan. Thank you so much for being here. So, a uh, long time no see. I'm going to explain where I was, what was I doing, and, and so on. Uh, but a little bit about tonight. I was uh, playing around. Um, I haven't played around with my metallic watercolors in, like, a while. Um, and I really wanted to play with them. But then I was a little bit bummed because I didn't want to use my metallics for only on black paper um, because like I have lots of ni nice watercolors and so on so I wanted to see what a, how how would the same design look on both and what would be the gain or not gain of making it on a normal watercolor paper which is white but then with metallics or doing it on black paper um there is there are some reasons um black paper like if i want to make a product out of it i can only sell like an original why because uh you can't scan it properly because <laughs> uh, you don't see the shine you only see the shine when you kind of oh hello victor hi <laughs> you only see the shine when you kind of tilt it in the in the uh, uh light and i was like yeah i i want to know whatever or not i can I can have some fun with it and, and then just use it on my normal paper. And I know that metallics look completely different on white paper than they do on black paper. So this is what I'm going to do. I did the same design on both of them. Uh, it's very easy. This is an anemone. This is a bit of a wonkier anemone, but you know, you guys get the gist out of it. And here's going to be a rose and here's going to be a rose. There's some leaves around, right? And um, in here, because now you can see it. It's on, it's on the black paper. How did I do it? I used this crayon. This is a white crayon, but it's a, a watercolor crayon. So um, this ink that is on this paper will activate with water. And when I'm going to do the metallics, it's just going to disappear. So, you know, I don't necessarily care. Um, but I tried to do it with graphite, like I did on this one, on, on the uh, white paper. Um, but I just couldn't see anything, unfortunately. I mean, I couldn't see it and I'm like close by, I can imagine all of you. So, you know, this is going to be a simple design. I didn't want to go super overboard, but what I wanted to do is to try to, um, to see what the properties are. And then I'm going to tilt it so you can see it in different light, right? How it looks like and, and so on. Um, and I'm using my fine tech, uh, fin tech. This is the... It's called Finetec Pearlescent Colors. Um, and these are all the colors that come in this box. I just take them out. I have another one that is just these colors. Uh, but I don't need them because I have all the colors here. Usually when you buy that big box from Amazon, they give you two extra ones which don't have any room in a box, which is weird. Uh, but they're really nice colors. So I'm going to use them. What is the, the thing? I'm going to use the same colors on both. I'm not going to try to use different colors. And we're going to see how it looks. Okay? <laughs> that If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least it's a triad. Um, the only thing is the center of the flowers. Uh, this is anemones. They need to be super dark. This black that I have here, the metallic black, is not really black at all. And I can't do anything with it. So... I'm just going to use a micron pen just to do the center of the flower on here. And in here, I'm just going to use this kind of white slash silver to do the same. Um, because I tried to do it with a white gel pen. 
uh, but it's too stark against the, the pearlescent colors. It, the white is too white, if, if that makes any sense. So, I'm just like, I'm not going to use it. Okay. Uh, so, let's do the center. The center of an anemone, and I'm going to do... I'm going to try to work on them uh, the same. And then I'm going to tell you where I was and what happened last week and all of that stuff while I'm drawing the center of the flower. And then, uh, like, I wasn't planning to make this one a very um, long um, uh, video. That's why I did only, like, um, a short one. But... Um, in short, it was my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to me. Okay. Curious to see the difference. Yeah, I'm curious. Also. <laughs> I did some tests before, but I think with this bigger design, we're going to really see what the differences are. Because on a small scale, you don't really see. So, it was my birthday, and I, I decided to take some uh, days off. Um, and I initially wanted to actually... Uh, do some streaming but the stream day was exactly when my birthday was so well that kind of fell out and uh, secondly I went a little bit overboard and let me explain what happened uh, what, around my birthday um, I couldn't decide what cake to buy so First of all, there was nobody that could have could have come here because we were in a lockdown. So it was just me, me and my husband. And <laughs> it's always funny how I say it. Um, I'm going to start coloring in, and I'm going to use this uh, purplish purple stuff. <laughs> and I uh, I am going to use a number one Stellinsky brush. Because um, these are quite finicky. So I ordered cakes. And I I went on to Amsterdam. Uh, because Amsterdam has the best cakes. So I bought some cakes. Like from uh, Madame Pompadour. It's a f like uh, in Amsterdam it's a, like a French thingy. French patisserie. How it's called. Um, and I bought from there. Uh, several um, cake slices and a big cake, a tartartan and macaroons and other stuff. And then we went to, for those um, familiar with Amsterdam, Van Stappel, <laughs> which is like the best cookie ever shop in existence where they only sell one type of cookie. So it's like a, it's like a kind of a chocolate chip slash brownie but with a um, white paste inside. So it's really nice. It's really good. Um, so I stayed there in line. I bought myself. So I came Saturday. I came with lots of, let's say, sweets and cookies. But then uh, my husband ordered from another cake shop, like two cakes. Uh, black forest cake and... Uh, Raffaello cake with lots of Raffaello. So in the end, I already had like three cakes and almost four cakes because there were lots of cake slices and other other cookies like bonbons and so on. So my birthday wasn't there yet because my, my birthday was Wednesday. So, you know, I was like, okay, we're going to start eating. So from Saturday, uh, we started eating we kind of didn't eat any other food other than the sweets because, um, yeah, there was a lot of them, a lot of sweets. You can see how uh, how interesting the color looks like on white because the white still shows true, right? So it's it's a really nice color. So I'm going to just go around. Um, and then by the time my actual birthday arrived right we already uh ate so much cake that um at one moment i think on a tuesday i really got sick i got so sick i couldn't even sleep the whole night um because i ate too much and um i'm not the person that likes to happy birthday <laughs> oh thank you marlena <laughs> 
I'm not the person that uh, likes to throw away food. So I was like, I have all these cakes, all this stuff. I'm going to eat it. Uh, it's a good thing that I wasn't I wasn't doing food as well. Because if I would have eaten food, I would have... Yeah, that would have been way too much. Um, and then, my friends, which some of you are online. Thank you so much. Uh, send me a present on Wednesday, on my birthday. And the present was, you guessed it, uh, extra cake. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like the fifth cake or something. Uh, so, and I was like this humongous chocolate cake. Uh, wow, it was so big. So, in, in other words, I was busy eating. So uh, that's why the, all this uh, live stream didn't happen. <laughs> No, uh, joke aside, um, what I was actually doing is I actually also took some days off from work um, because I've been working like crazy lately and I just I just needed a little bit of a um, break. Um, there's nothing I could do because you can't go anywhere, right? So even if I take a break, it's not like I could I could go anywhere, but I just wanted to stay home basically eat and sleep but I also worked on um, on my designs so I studied a lot uh, how to draw ser several things and I did uh, more than half of all the you remember the potions I did for Inktober and I said I always said I'm going to color them in because I want to make stickers out of them and prints well those are the ones that I've been working on and I think I only have six left of the, out of the 30 that I need to do so very good progress but um, I was taken by surprise by how long it takes because maybe because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist or something I don't know by the way I'm trying to leave a small border in between petals because otherwise they will the problem with metallics is that you can't do really a gradient or anything um, so in order to uh, denotes the petals you have to either play with black or some other color like make the lines or just leave the white so he here's where this one comes in handy um, that's why so um, it was a lot of work some days I was I was actually drawing until maybe like three in the morning or something like that. So it was not, uh, I'm not going to say that it was a, a crazy uh, amount because I was also sleeping till 12 the next day, but it wasn't really like a holiday. Well, I treated it more as a work, work holiday. Uh, and the reason for it is I really want to open my Etsy shop and I'm doing... Um, well, Johan has been helping me with the designs and making them product ready because I really want to, I, they need it, you know, digitalizing and, and all of that stuff. And I've been trying to make, uh, more products and more stuff. So I, it's not like I wasted the time or I wasn't doing anything, <laughs> but I... I wasn't really in the headspace to do a live stream uh, because, yeah, it it really required a lot of concentration for me to just uh, finish up uh, a lot of the work. Initially, I thought I could do I could do one potion in like <laughs> thirty minutes or something. No, sometimes I think the last one that I did, and I even gave up on the last one because the design wasn't working. So what happens is sometimes the design that I did back then just doesn't work with my style or with anything right now. So I think after about three hours, with just one potion, I just gave up. I was like, I don't care. There are some designs that are not going to make it. Um, but yeah, so... This is what I did. This is what I've been. Um, it's quite funny that you would have seen me when I ate way too much cake uh, one day that I just, I couldn't even move anymore. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> so I need to remind myself to pace myself. And it's, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's a problem of uh, 
too much food. I think it's a problem of I tend to eat very fast. Like my mom, I was talking with my mom and then she saw me and she's like, at your age and you're still eating too fast. Like, haven't I teached you anything? (laughs) Ever since you were a kid, I keep telling you, stop eating so fast. And I was like, I never listen. So even now that I'm, I'm quite old and and so on. I mean, I just passed 21, but, you know, past 21 means uh, uh, I'm old. (laughs) Yeah, so, but uh, thank you so much to my friends for the awesome presents and and the flowers. Oh my god, I got so many flowers, and the funny part is, while I got all these flowers, I've decided that I'm going to start learning how to draw from the flowers that I have. So, uh, I ditched my my drawing books and my uh, study books and I actually drew and even these flowers they are from because I had actually anemones some of the flowers are anemones and I actually drew them from different sides and the funny part is that I could do that because I could actually see the flower uh, in my hand Um, and this is really nice I never knew I could do that I never um, knew you know I would I would ever be able to do that I left the uh, you can see that it is a different color than what you will see on the black one, right? And I'm going to do a two color because you see that I left some lines here. These are the folds and I'm going to do a different like pinkish color. Um, and this is going to look, I'm hoping um, it's going to give a little bit of depth. And the problem with metallics, you can't really layer them because when you start layering, yeah, this is a nice pink. When you start layering, um, the color underneath leaves off, right? That is the problem with metallics. It, it, it's it's nice as watercolor, but it's more of a one layer type of deal. Um, there's no way to do a different. So... Yeah, you have to leave these white spaces or you have to work with different things to create the shape that you want. And it's going to become more apparent, I think, on the black, right? But I just want to finish up with this flower on this one and then we're going to go on to the black and we're going to do the black one. Um, And then we're going to go from there. We're going to do the leaves and the other tiny ones and... You know, we're gonna we're gonna see how it looks like. I'm gonna show you in the light once I finish. I'm gonna tilt it a little bit, and then we're gonna see how it looks like in the light. Okay. So, uh, a lot of work, lots of stuff to do. Um, but it's fun, right? For me, it's really fun what I'm doing and uh, trying to open the Etsy shop. Um, and the funny part is I'm working on the products, but I haven't even started working on things like uh, <laughs> uh, the logo or anything. <laughs> Not yet. I probably need to redo the logo. Okay. This looks nice. And now you're going to see that maybe uh, from above, metallics always will look a bit meh. <laughs> or how do I call it? Uh, meh, meh. Right? Uh, it doesn't look anything special, right? It looks quite flat, and it only shows its true colors when you tilt it. So I'm going to try to tilt it, and now you can see. You see, depending on how light hits it, depending on how light hits it, it has the shine. And the funny part is the true beauty of this you can only see in 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 real life. It's so hard. It's so hard to to see it like this. Um, but I think it works. I think these colors really work um, on white paper, and I think you can you could work with it definitely, right? Okay. So I'm going to switch, do the switcheroo, and I'm going to use the exact same colors so far on this other one, with the exception of the middle, which I'm going to do with this white, whitish kind of thing. I think it's called champagne, champagne or something like that. But anyway, um, 
so it's really creamy and now i lost the window where i can see the people commenting if anybody is commenting <laughs> so uh, i'm doing the center so Of course, I can't do uh, black in the middle of one, on a mini on uh, <laughs> on black paper. By the way, uh, if you're wondering, this paper is Arches watercolor paper, and this other paper is. Uh, let me see if I can grab it. Uh, ow! 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 I dislocated my <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> no, uh, it's actually Claire Fontaine uh, noir paper, and I'm going to show it at the end once I I am able to lift myself up. So I'm going to try to do the stamens and like super super tiny like this. That's not the. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to bump into things like into my microphone and then I couldn't, I just couldn't reach it. It's in front of me, but I can't reach it. It's okay. Okay, so now this looks, this looks much better. And now I'm going to start painting in. Same color, same thing. And then we're going to see what the difference is. If there is any difference, maybe there is no difference. But I suspect there is something. Uh, by the way, this is not a watercolor paper, the black one. I particularly, I, I mean, I have lots of watercolor paper. I don't like it for this intricate stuff. Uh, because it really, the water really seeps into the watercolor paper. And this is a, what's called a mixed media paper. And... It is perfect for these ones. So you might wonder, like, is it then worth it? Like, if you can't scan it, if you can't make a proper picture, right? Is it worth it that you buy it or that you use metallics? And I think it is, but it depends what you're going to use it for. Because let's say if you are like me, if you're a crafter or... Um, you just want to make a present for somebody, making it like this on black paper and really um, giving them this, uh, it's going to have a, a humongous effect, right? Do you want to make a product out of it and sell it on your store or something? I don't think this works because there's no way for you to... Uh, you can definitely add on your products metallic things but then you need to add them separate like uh, Photoshop or Illustrator and you add it with a special brush and then you add these metallics because they can definitely add so a lot of manufacturers they you can ask them to add things on top like if you want them to um, to add your uh, gold highlights or something uh, that works that's not a problem uh, but do I think you can you can you cannot print this yourself on a regular printer so the only thing that you could do is if you have a nice design and you print it and you get the prints to yourself right and before you send them to customers um you're gonna have to add the highlights uh, with this yourself, okay? Um, so you add it at the end, let's say. So you add some splatter with gold or some something, anything. So just going to do this. And again, from above, maybe it doesn't look very exciting at all. 
but I think it's gonna look exciting when I'm going to tilt it. And that's when you're gonna see the beauty. And that's why you're gonna see the same color as here, but how it's gonna look like on black paper. Because I'm pretty sure the colors look pretty different. So. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So far, this is pretty. Um, I'm not gonna say meticulous work, but yeah, you do need to to be very careful because you don't want it to run into each other or you know. Dum -dum. What I am bummed about on metallic is that you can't do things like ombre effect or gradients. Because this one just reactivates man with water and then you're just going to pick up the pigment afterwards. And it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Uh, because I, I work with many layers and with many things, right? Um, so, yeah. But it is so relaxing to do this. So what's the difference between black and white with applying the watercolors? The difference. Okay. Uh, between the paper color, you mean, Johan. Um, the, um, so the way these ink or inks or watercolors are being made, they have this what's called a mica powder in it or mica crystals. Mika is like a mineral. And this mineral, the way it works, why is it so shiny? It's because it's um, reflecting light. Uh, so whenever light shines on it, it reflects it back. And then it reflects it in different hues because each grain has different properties. So it reflects back on a different, maybe different wavelength or different things. So what happens is that... Um, Underneath it all is just the binder, right? So the color is just the um, underneath. It's just the binder for this powder. So, but it doesn't have complete coverage. So what that means is that the color of the paper will shine through. So if you have black color, it will shine through. So you you still see the black underneath, although you don't necessarily perceive it with your eye. But then the color shifts in a totally different tone because there's black underneath it and that black also absorbs all the light. So then this one reflects a little bit less. So that's why it looks so different. Like the colors look so different on white than on black because on, on white you would have um, the white of the paper show and the white reflects all the light. So that means it's less a light you know being reflected out of the actual mica powder so it kind of interferes with with the color but what does that mean is that maybe some colors shift really into different colors um and, and maybe this pink will not look like pink on black and now we're gonna see because i'm gonna use the same color and i have the feeling that this pink because it's so transparent here and because this pink becomes this pink because of the white paper i have a feeling that when i'm gonna put it here on this one it's not gonna be pink anymore it's gonna be something totally different so let's see if i'm right because if i'm right that means that the paper is really interfering with the color so i'm gonna use the same pink this should be a very bright pink right so let's see gonna I'm gonna do the same so the more the more expensive of these Mika colors yeah look totally different color look how, how muted this pink is here and look how bright this is because the the black underneath is blocking the light and then the only light that reflects is really from the um it's only from the mica powder and in here you get light reflected from white and then you get this weird gradient okay so this is like 
oh, I wish I was a physicist so I can explain how these things work, but I'm not, right? Um, so you will have a totally different result if you would do this on like craft paper. So depending on what the color of the paper are needed, then you get a totally different result. So what I was saying is that there are some um, there are some brands uh, for some other brands that are maybe cheaper brands. They don't have that much of this mica mineral inside, and what happens then it's even worse because then then more of the underlying paper will show, right? And then what happens on black paper, um, it will become very transparent, this one, right? So not like a, a block of color like this. But on white, white paper, a lot of the cheaper brands don't even show because there's too much of the white paper showing, too much of the light reflection, and then you won't see it. So, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting medium to work with. And I know that some other people work with like gold foil and so on. Uh, that's a different thing, the gold foil, because that one, the gold foil you need to have, um, I'm not going to say, you need to have a glue to glue it onto your paper. Um, and it's very opaque, right? And it's like really where you put it, there, there it is. But... Uh, the other part of it so that's the gold foil right um with these watercolors the binder or you know the glue that allows this powder to stick is in the binder so it has a small small little bit of a binder okay so now you can see the difference between the two this is much brighter and this is a bit more muted but let me show you in the light because that's when you're actually going to see so let me see what you see da -da -da -da. So look how bright it is because there's only black paper underneath and nothing gets reflected from the paper itself, right? And then you can have this, but the trick with this is like I probably should have uh, left a little bit more black um, so that the petals can be differentiated better. On the white one, it's really nice, really nice color. But the white really shines through and then you get this gradient, right? Just gonna, gonna try to see what we can add more. Uh, the rose is gonna be quite different, I think. I think the rose is gonna be quite nice. Uh, let me add. You can definitely put on top, but don't, don't blend. Like, just let it sit on top. You can do another extra layer or something so I'm adding this I'm adding the white stamen here okay and let's see if I add some lines with white here and then I add their black. Just to give a hint of movement, huh? I have no intention to Normally my style is very illustrative, right? And and having to work with this one that you can't really layer is <laughs> really tripping me. Because I wanna be able to add these lines that are more 
the hatching and you know all of this stuff okay and then on this other one i'm just going to continue with some black and then we're going to do the leaves and then um then see what what more we have any other questions that you have you might have so definitely um you can do because this is opaque i'm doing this black stamen on top of it you don't want to do it because it's going to be covered anyway okay let me see if i can add some black lines here definitely works better the black here than than with the white there um It's more closer to my style, but yeah, still, uh, you you can't really do all the stuff that you do with normal watercolors with layering. So, I still like it. The shine is amazing, and I'm I'm so sorry that you can't necessarily see that, like this amazing shine. We we're gonna go soon into into the. Uh, greens and so on and that's going to be even more nicer so this is a nice green and this is a nice olive green these are more like blue greens so i'm just going to use them um so we're just going to do some of the leaves And the funny part is some colors, when when things like, when you put them on white paper, they might be a totally different color than when you put them on black paper. Do, do I have a favorite? Yes, I, I actually like a lot the gold ones. Gold is my favorite. I mean, yes. <laughs> uh, if I have a favorite between the black and the white, I'm starting to like the white a little bit more than, than how it looks on black. On black you can do a lot of designs, but not these intricate designs. And these intricate designs look like they work much better on white. And the intricate designs are much more to my style. So that's why I like more the white. Um, I know it's weird, right? If I were to do the the gold... Um, I will probably like it on the black because the gold really shines through on the black. Um, but if I were to use the pinks and the stuff, I would use it on on uh, on white paper because I can actually get a gradient and and all of that here, which is nice. Okay. I hope you can still see what I'm doing here. I'm just using the belly of the brush to fill in the um, the leaf. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do maybe this ones or yeah, this ones. I'm gonna do the same green. And I'm going to switch some greens around. going to do one more green here. It's a really nice green. Okay. And I'm going to do this one. So what do I learn from this? I learned that I need to really think very well uh, where I'm going to use it for. 
if ever <laughs> probably just original artwork um, and also that you can't really layer them which is a shame and you can't do intricate stuff okay so I did this they look really nice I mean I hope you can see the shine. Oh, on this side, this side, the green is is really nice. <laughs> on on screen, it looks a bit neony, but actually, it's not really that neony. <laughs> it looks really nice. Okay, let's do the black. Okay, let's see how this green looks like on the black. Okay. Uh, we will make pictures and post them on Instagram to show the nice colors. Yeah, but we're going to have to somehow make pictures on an angle or something. Because it's the only way we can show the shine. Okay, I'm going to do the same. And look now, look the brightness. On this one, it's so muted. On white, it's so muted. But still, depending on how the the, the light goes on it... Uh, uh, it's more or less, uh, more color or less color, but man, on black, this green is like amazing. Look how bright it is on black yeah. now. <laughs> no, this is really, really interesting. You sometimes almost like I'm almost thinking that these colors they are very good and very vibrant and they have lots of makeup powder but I'm almost certain that for this kind of uh, different colors not the gold and not the other ones that look nice but for these colored colors I almost want to have a cheaper brand because then they will be a little bit more transparent uh, than uh, with this brand, this brand, like, you can really see, um, that they have a lot of this Mika, makeup mineral in it. Okay. And I was thinking we're gonna be finishing really fast, but I'm taking my time here. I just don't want to make any mistakes. <laughs> And it's also kind of therape therapeutic for me. Yeah. Okay, so. I know that my friends were asking me what I got as presents for my birthday. Uh, and I did get presents uh, mainly from myself. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Um, but also from my husband. Um, I got the nicest present from my husband, to be honest. And he bought me um, about six prints from my favorite uh, artist <laughs> that I always watch, which is Danica Sills. And now I have way too many prints of her. And um, I, uh, I also ordered the uh, frames because I, I cannot choose out of the six prints. I cannot choose one and only one that uh, we will uh, put on the wall. So I need to put them all. <laughs> so I ordered lots of um, frames from Ikea and they should arrive next week. But I was so happy with it. Uh, so this was the present, of course, besides the flowers and, and everything I got. I got lots of flowers and I got lots of um, cards. Some friend uh, also got me booze. Uh, was a, a plantation, plantation rum, bottle of rum, um, which is really nice. I wasn't expecting that. And then I bought myself a present because, well, I always buy myself a present. So um, I actually bought myself um, the set, a barbell set. Olympic weightlifting. I do Olympic weightlifting, but lately I haven't been able to do anything because all the gyms are closed, so I can't go to the gym anymore. I mean, I could go to the gym, but it's in Amsterdam, and I don't want to travel with a train every day to go there. Uh, 
because that will become a little bit too much okay i'm going to use a different a different green right now and i'm going to use this green so i bought myself and i made my own kind of um exercise area in one of the rooms um because nobody sits in there uh so i have my barbells and i did yesterday a nice exercise with it um and i realized that i haven't been doing that in such a long time that i really embedded it again i need to get my strength back and my mobility back but it was so good it was so good to uh do the exercise again so this was my own uh, uh present and yeah that was it i i did have to order it way in advance because everything is super bought out um so been waiting for quite a while for the delivery and they actually arrived um only uh this weekend so yeah it is what it is uh, but i'm happy and you might wonder but why can't i do exercise otherwise i do otherwise exercise i i run a lot right uh, but the actual strength exercises i'm really missing you know a proper barbell to do stuff um and i know uh that sounds a bit weird but um i was pretty much into it and i just don't wanna don't wanna lose uh, what I learned and what I did okay uh, I'm going to switch to this one and then I'm going to do the tiny ones and the rows and then these are some buds which I'm gonna try different colors from this I'm gonna I'm gonna want to try different colors and then I'm going to add some more leaves with um, you know the silver or the champagne or the yellow we'll see okay that was it dum 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 so yeah these were the presents that i got and i think the biggest present is that my family is still quite healthy and nothing bad happened so i consider that also part of my present super happy that everybody's healthy my mom is healthy you know my dad is healthy they all got their vaccines and that's super nice. I'm not even sure who is still listening. Uh, if you're listening in after after the live stream, hi. I ramble a lot about my family and so on. So anyway, there's not much I can hope for. And I didn't really need to go anywhere because I just needed some time off away from work just to work a little bit on my art and on myself and to sleep and eat good cake and man madame pompadour cake that was awesome this french style of cooking <laughs> is really good i was not expecting this uh, and there was a line it's so funny in amsterdam there's a line and there were lines on uh, at the, all these cake shops. So Lama Van Stapela was a line of at least 20 people. I think uh, Madame Pompadour was also quite quite a line. Uh, which is which signifies that whenever there's a line, that means it's good stuff. <laughs> so, uh, what did I find in Amsterdam? I haven't been to Amsterdam in a very long time, actually, since summer. I, I live very close to Amsterdam now. Don't think it's like only 25 kilometers or something. It's almost next to nothing, right? I just don't necessarily go out of the house. So, yeah. And uh, that's the only difference that I could say. Uh, let me try this one. Um... It was more crowded than anticipated. I wasn't anticipating it's gonna be so crowded. I found some weird, strange things happening, 
like there were some people they were walking around with the beer in their hands and there were large groups forming at corners of streets where they would all come with their own beers and drink beer I found that a bit weird mm, because well you know you're in a lockdown situation so I'm not sure if that was the smartest thing for them to do but anyway we're moving on so I'm going to make here one blue one and one of this lighter blue so let's use these blues here this blue and this lighter blue I'm curious how we're gonna see it and at the end I'm going to just add some leaves uh, also with the yellow because the yellow is the actual one that is the nicest one and everybody has the yellows right so but I was uh, I was actually thinking oh I'm I'm now feeling like I wish that I was living in Amsterdam, right? That's because we were uh, walking around and, um, yeah, on these nice uh, tiny streets, cobblestone streets, and um, there was almost nobody there because, well, well, everybody's in a kind of a lockdown situation, right? Um, <laughs> which, to which my friend replied, because I was with my friend, uh, I didn't go with my husband. I wanted to meet my friend. And she's like, yeah, you like it now. <laughs> but you're not going to like it when, you know, the lockdowns are going to be lifted and all these streets are going to be swarming with tourists and so on. Because now there were no tourists because there's no tourists left, right? So um, it was quite fun. And you could actually see the beauty of the city. But I can definitely imagine that when the tourists start coming again and the streets get super busy, then you're not going to be able to see anything in Amsterdam. And and then you're not going to want to leave there because it's going to be too too crowded. So, yeah, I decided I'm... I think I still made a good decision not to live in Amsterdam. Also financially, I think it's way too expensive for whoever is watching from outside of the world. Uh, the price difference is almost a half with with half the money that you would have something in Amsterdam. You basically have in any other city, even 20 kilometers from <laughs> Amsterdam. So I I particularly don't think it's worth it, not at that price tag. But then again, any other capital of the world, to be honest, I mean, I was looking, even Dublin, which is so weird. I don't know why, why I wanted to give Dublin as an example, but uh, even there, and I'm not even going to say London and so on, because to be honest, I think London... In London, you pay uh, more than you pay in Amsterdam <laughs> for a place to stay. Um, but yeah, the the prices are a bit insane, a bit inflated. And I don't have that, that kind of cash on hand to be able to live in Amsterdam. It doesn't mean that I don't want to be close because in Amsterdam, everything that happens, happens. And Amsterdam has the nicest... Um, literally the nicest uh, cookie shops and cake shops and patisseries and, and so on. These are always the nicest ones to have. So if you ever think what's nice about Amsterdam, I think this is. <laughs> I'm going to use this, um, I think, this is more of a copper yellow, copper yellow. I'm gonna do one of these ones. Um. And 
And if you're wondering how do I get to Amsterdam, I just take the train, which is weird because you might think that train is a long way. Actually, the train is only 15 minutes. And it comes pretty often, so it's not a problem. I'm just adding some little bit of leaves here and there with this copper thingy. Okay. So the question is <laughs> if given the opportunity, would you rather have more space or would you ha rather have, I don't know, weird. Uh, Let me try this one. You want to be in the middle of things, in the middle of Amsterdam. Like if you were, if you were the one having the decision. I, I, I would assume it's really depending on age. And if you're thinking, oh, I want to go out or I want to go clubbing or stuff like that. I mean, I'm not a clubbing person. I'm going to just switch around. I am definitely not a clubbing person. So I I don't mind that much. I don't need anything. Uh, oh, wow. Look how beautiful this yellow is on the white. Now, this is what I call... <laughs> Really nice yellow. I I encountered a lot of people that now have a trouble with with these uh, places because they're quite small, right? So it it only works if you're really indeed only using it as this is the place where I go to sleep. But if you have to use these places in Amsterdam for which you pay a lot of money, and by a lot of money, I mean a lot of money. <laughs> if you're gonna pay a lot of money and then you don't have then the opportunity to go out, then it's really a waste. Because, uh, man. The, I mean, the sizes are very tiny. It's like 50 square meters. 50 square meters. I have no idea how much 50 square meters is in square feet or anything. But uh, not a lot. <laughs> and in here you get three times the space for a fraction of the price, which I am assuming it's okay. So some of these colors look way nicer on 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 the white paper. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to make the rose and the rose I'm going to make with this pink. And I'm going to add some different things to it. Oh, maybe I should switch. I should switch to a bigger brush because the rose needs a little bit of bigger brush. Uh, this is a number four, actually. It's not like I switch, I switch brushes like super high. Uh, it's 1958. It's okay. We're almost done, and then I'm gonna show you. I'm going. I'm gonna talk about the differences, right? So I'm going to I'm going to. So how do I do the rows? I start in the middle, and then I do these semicircles, and I'm utilizing really the belly of the brush to do that. So I start here, I go around it. I start here. So I, I believe that if you find the correct flowers that you're gonna do on either one of them, like this intricate stuff doesn't work on black paper. But things like roses and, and so on, I believe this one works pretty well, right? So if you are asking me, I think we really need to come up with um, 
definitely you can use both papers but you just need to know what is it good for so what I'm noticing is that these tiny things they're really nice on both papers and the tiny the leaves and the tiny flowers these big blocky flowers don't work but these flowers with like lots of petals like this rose works beautifully on both papers but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work even nicer on the outside okay uh, what do I want to do there I want to see this kind of copper I want to see this copper how it's going to be Wow, it's so dark on white. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to that, but I'm letting it dry because I wanna see how layering works on that one. I'm gonna add this copper thing here, and now it, it is more transparent, which is so weird on black paper. Okay. And I'm gonna add the middles with more yellow to the flowers, middles of the flowers, okay? Uh, okay, rose. Let's do the rose on black paper as well. And we do the same, okay? So we start tiny. It looks much more opaque, but it looks much more purple, purple magenta than what it looks like. In here, it looks like pink, and I just put my finger in it. It looks like really like pink, and in here, it looks like magenta, doesn't it? So weird. such a difference in colors <laughs> so weird and I'm going to do the last part I'm gonna try this one just to add the middles of the flowers here yep and I'm going to try this one here so it does look I think it needs a little bit more balancing on this side with some whitish something. Um, and maybe in here as well. Dun, dun, dun. And I wonder if I can add a darker version of something. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll add this silver to the middle. I think we're done. I'm just adding details to see whether things work. No, you wouldn't see it. I was, I tried. I think you need to add like really yellow to this green to make a difference. These are bigger leaves and I wanted to have a small detail in the middle, otherwise they look really blocky. Uh, okay, let me see if I can do the same here. And now if I'm going to try silver or white, <laughs> it's not going to show. And I'm going to show you here. You don't really see anything. I mean, I see it. 
but you wouldn't. I see it. And here you almost would like these other yellows, like super bright yellows to do. Like small, small brush strokes, right? Okay, well, that, that was it, right? So I did the same design, the same thing on both. I'm going to put the watercolors a bit aside so that we have enough space here to have a look at. Okay, so how does this one look? Um, I believe it looks so nice. I mean, um, the yellow... It's really a great accent on any watercolor, I think, that I would do because it's on white and you can see it really good. Uh, even this kind of, uh, because it becomes more transparent, right? Even these ones are nice. I really like this yellow and this kind of red. Um, it's, uh, it's really nice. What I don't think works, uh, and let's be honest, I don't think the really, like the blocky flowers, I don't think they work not on this paper and I don't think they work on this one either I think that 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 this kind of things like roses that have lots of space in between the petals those work very well leaves and tiny flowers and buds and so on so if I were to focus on something I would focus on that this kind of weird ones mm, no <laughs> right let me see if you can catch, I hope you can catch the light in it. It's really pretty. Like in real life, it's like amazing. I wouldn't give it to anybody. It's mine. <laughs> okay, now let's look at the black one, the black paper. Uh, different colors shine through the black paper, right? And it, interestingly enough, the greens are are much more vibrant on the black paper and also the yellow the yellow is kind of similar right some colors really change on black look at this it's the same pink and here looks magenta right nothing against it it's still very pretty what shines and doesn't shine on the white is is really this these white ones the champagne ones and these ones they really are uh, standing out on the black paper and not on this one. Again, what I believe, I believe that this type of um, flowers, um, the open ones, are are the ones that are the best. And you know, I can try to add some some highlights here and there, and some white, and I can try to blend them out, and then hopefully I don't pick up too much of that underlying color, right? Just to make it pop a little bit. No, no offense there. Yeah. Right? So you really need to play around. Um, but my idea was, can I do this kind of peonies on uh, on this one? And there is no. That doesn't mean that you can't do this. And let me see where I have my paper. What did I do with it? Okay. Um, you really need to have a border for this to work, right? Um, you just have to wait a little bit for me. Go in the back. I'm going to show you how I did it before. Can you see this? And what did I do here? Like every petal is very well defined. And by the way, I used embossing powder here. And I used embossing powder. Uh, it took me forever to make this piece with embossing powder. Uh, because 
you have to do the the sticky ink. So I draw everything myself, right? I drew everything myself with Versa Versa Mark ink, and then I was doing embossing powder. Like it was a mess uh, because embossing powder does stick to this paper, and uh, you have to clean it and so on. But this is how you make those stand out on the black, and this is how you make this kind of um, really uh, complicated flowers. You can't make them like this, so you can't do loose watercolors um, because the petals are going to look all the similar. Because you can't do, you just can't do gradient, right? On the white, it looks much better. Okay, so. This is like uh, what I wanted to show you guys. Um, don't know if you're interested or not. Uh, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and I'm thinking that for all my watercolors, I'm just going to add the accents for the type of paper that um, I have, right? So if it's going to be white, I think the accents with the yellow, with the really gold ones, really going to pop out, right? And... Um, some um, different ones and on this one the greens and blues are really wonderful right in here yellows and the reds they look nice anyway that was it for tonight I don't want to hold you guys longer than uh, all that is needed um, have fun it's pretty therapeutic um, it's it's so nice to see how the color flows and how this powder goes and how everything i mean for me it's literally just a um therapy kind of kind of style of artwork and this is not something that i would go like oh yes i'm going to go and and uh make an artwork is going to be exposed to many people but it's just pure therapy because the colors are so beautiful right um so that was it. Uh, if you are listening until the end, don't forget to click that subscribe button or, you know, share it with your friends if you liked it. And I hope to see you guys next time on to the next live stream. Uh, and in the meantime, take care. Uh, I hope you have wonderful weather. And finally, there's more light outside. So I'm super happy. I'm going to stop the stream. Uh, see you guys next time. Okay.